We cannot really understand how vision works without understanding how the brain functions. Because we think that by understanding how the brain uh, works when, that, when the vision is normal, we may be able to understand the limiting factors on the visual system when something is wrong. So, for example, when there's visual disorder or in the presence of eye diseases. So by understanding how the brain works when the visual system is not normal, we may be able to develop um, strategies or methods or maybe even a product that can help uh, people who are not as fortunate um, and who suffer from like, visual disorder to be able to see better and hoping that by doing so we may be able to improve their quality of life. Some of the more recent development and something that uh, have been getting a lot of media coverage is the fact that there's still plasticity in the brain uh, even when the person is uh, over five or six years old which normally is considered as the critical period for visual development. So we find that like even in adults, if you actually give them enough training, um, the training could be pretty simple, but if you give them enough training, the vision can still improve. Um, and that aspect could be in terms of visual acuity or maybe contrast sensitivity or maybe some other aspects of visual function.